Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marian and I'm your host today and I'm going to give you a new update regarding the 4680 cells looking into Germany and an update from that factory. Lots of new stuff happening over there and we will look into China as well. So first of all, um, checking out the Panasonic 4680 um, thing. Yeah, Panasonic is really needed to ramp up 4680 cells more and that's why Tesla wants that Panasonic is really fast deciding where to build a factory and then help to um, sustain and support the growth of Tesla in the coming months and years. And this is really needed because Tesla needs a lot of battery packs, especially for the Cybertruck. And we do know that the um, demand here for the Cybertruck is so big that Tesla will not be able to handle it from the battery side alone. They need its suppliers to support battery production here. And this is why Panasonic will do so with with the Cybertruck 4680 cells for the Cybertruck in the United States and build a new factory. Of course, the competition within the battery segment between Panasonic and other battery production companies is very big. So they really want to be in the pole position to supply Tesla. They do know they have long-term contracts and even though there was challenging times in the past, they do really know that Tesla is going to take any little battery that they can get to produce cars and there's no shortage of demand so that is why panasonic might be announcing a new factory very soon and then hopefully the factory will be built fast to um, build 4680 cells for tesla then looking into the chinese situation here we have glovi splendor moving to slovenia in europe that is the first ship of this quarter then we have the Teben moving to China, Shanghai, meaning it could be the second ship with um, new cars moving into Europe market as well. Again, I don't have any tracking for the Australian market or any other markets, but currently it seems like they're going to move the cars towards the um, European market first. Then we have Moneyball and we have as well his estimation of current um, yeah, challenges in the supply chain, especially when you move stuff between Shanghai and Beijing, it seems to be pretty crazy. And as well, the capacity and the production of supplies in Shanghai is not where it's supposed to be. It's going to take this month, it's going to be two, three weeks more um, until they might be at the same level as before the lockdown. Then um, checking out what's happening in Germany. Um, we do know that we have the Model Y performance in white and black currently, no white seats yet, and the next color will be gray. And afterwards, we will see if the white seats are coming as well. So for the um, Model Y long range, it's still gonna come from China though. So anybody asking out there, it's not gonna be from Germany yet. This is, by the way, not because Germany is not capable of doing it. It is just the fact that the Model Y performance has such a huge demand that the blue and the red, blue and red color are currently estimated delivery by next year, January. Just saying that. So it's insane demand here. Then we have a software update for the AMD Ryzen chip because it wasn't cooling the AMD Ryzen chip correctly. This is happening in the United States. We have controls of the side here from officials um, even that is not a big issue it is a regular control just to um, be sure that Tesla is doing no um, illegal stuff this is something that is not only happening for Tesla this is a regular procedure in Germany that officials are just um, checking if everything is going according to plan Tesla has its deal with um, officials um, with stuff they need to um, take care of and they just control all these papers paperworks and stuff. This is all a normal procedure for those not knowing what's happening in Germany. As well, we have already 4,000 employees right now in Grünheide, which is also very exciting because the staff rate is increasing. It is very hard to find good, um, qualified, passionate um, employees in Germany currently. We do have a lot of issues with that. So as long as Tesla can find some, um, this will support the growth 
and of course um, make it possible that Tesla can deliver cars as fast as possible. Um, so for the European market, people from the United States might know that already um, we have new time frames. So now we can see actually a time frame for your car um, when it's supposed to arrive. That makes, makes it a much easier, much uh, nicer to kind of get a feeling when this car should be arriving. That is something we haven't seen before. It was just on monthly basis. This was either like you get your car in month May or June or September, but there was no date or time frames that we could see. So as well, this is um, very important um, in um, the future that we have this service um, that Tesla is providing here. Um, another important fact is that it's not only all about um, the European market, of course, it is also exciting stuff happening in the United States. Tesla leading here in the first quarter. Kia up by 735%, 8,450 cars. Ford up as well. Hyundai up as well. Nissan up. Volkswagen is growing rapidly, but still it is just 3,000 cars. So, I mean, this is just insane difference to Tesla. For Tesla in its home market in Germany, it still looks in a different way, but let's wait until Tesla is really ramping car production here in Europe. Currently, Tesla is around about um, eight to 900, 900 cars per day, depending on each day, how fast Tesla um, can produce. Then we have the global renewable power is set to break another record in 2022. Um, this is also exciting. We have a record gigawatt hour, um, yeah, gigawatt hour of installations that are supposed to happen this year. Lots of utility scale power, um, power walls. Then we have as well um, the solar panels. We have the offshore wind, the onshore wind, um, especially offshore wind in the area of Norway and Great Britain is a big deal. Um, as well between Denmark and Great Britain. Um, then we have, for example, as well the solar panels, which I find a very important um, fact that the United States, um, just as a perspective as a European um, person, um, a lot of people underestimate the um, United States in installing capacity when it comes to solar panels. You guys do a lot um, already. It has been getting much better and it is great to see all the solar panel parks um, that are currently built in the United States. The same thing is for China. China is doing a lot of stuff um, in China to build new solar panel parks. So we are on the right track. It just needs to scale a bit more, more mega packs, more power walls, and we are on the right way. So thank you very much for being here today. I really appreciate your time. Take care.